okay let me show you how i did my dsg adaptation using obd11 on a sirocco two liter tsi using the same engine as a golf gti so first thing first gonna make sure that you put your put your gear on park secondly make sure your handbrake is all the way pulled up and thirdly which is the most important as well make sure your cruise control is off because if it's on it's not gonna work i've tried it do wanna work and just turn on your car and let it idle once you have this done also make sure you put your foot on the brake all the way down on the brake now you are ready to start opening the app so now i'm gonna go to the app open the obd11 app and you're gonna click on connect give it some time for it to connect all right now you're gonna go to the menu and you're gonna select transmission then you're gonna select change service then you're gonna select development mode that's how it worked for me maybe for you might use a different service but that's how it worked for me okay so we need to make sure that the temperature is between 50 degrees and 100 degrees so now we're gonna go to live data and we're gonna look for dsg temperature okay mine shows 85 degrees that's perfect so it means i can be able to perform this operation right now if yours is still less than 50 or less than 30 i think it's 35 i'll check the correct numbers then all you have to do is just take your car out for a drive and drive for around 10 minutes then your dsg fluid will eventually reach this temperature then you can be able to perform this so when you come back from taking the drive just follow the process again from the beginning and when you get to this part you will get here and once your temperature is good you're gonna go back then you go to basic settings and then you click on select value so if you select dsg adaptation it doesn't work it gives an error even when you select clutch adaptation it gives an error but these two transmission tolerances these two of them they actually work so that's the ones that i've used and they've made a difference in the car when i'm driving but let's see if dsg adaptation is gonna work so you're gonna select the transmission tolerances first one make sure your brake is all the way down so now if you select this you're gonna feel your gearbox will start kicking and it's gonna show you the status saying it's on and you're gonna go to the next one as well go to basic settings then select transmission tolerances number two and it's showing off and it's gonna start kicking as well you know in your gearbox you feel it go and then until it turns on so once it says it's on then it means it's done doing what it had to do so just wait for it until it says on So I didn't have to actually press the tick. I just open up the setting and it does it on its own. So currently it's also still kicking. I can feel it. All right, now you can see it's saying that it's on. It means it's done. I can just go back as well. So those are the only two that I was managed to select. Maybe if yours, the clutch adaptation works, maybe you can select that. But after doing this, I close the app and I turned off the car. And then I switched it up again. And then from here, I took a drive and here's the results of the drive. All right, so I'm taking a drive. I just performed the DSG basic settings with the OBD11 and currently just been driving normally you know what i'm saying and it's performing way better no lie one to two used to be jerky now it's just smooth so i'm still driving to see you know because i just started driving like five minutes ago but so far i can tell you i'm just driving on dynamic you know and everything is just moving proper you know there's the changes are way smooth that i'm not gonna lie because when i was doing the adaptation you know the gearbox was doing some kung fu inside like kuh, 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 kuh. i'm like ah definitely it's working and now when i'm driving i can really feel it especially from gear one to gear two you know those problematic gears when you on the dsg they are very smooth very smooth because four or five six 
never give me a problem. Okay, now he's a robot here. Let's see. Because that's how I'm gonna tell by the takeoff. So currently, I don't know if I can switch my camera. I can't switch my camera. Okay, so I met a red light a robot. So I call it in South Africa. Even the stopping is way better. The stopping is way better. There's like I don't feel that that thing, that feeling like you know, the like is assisting you to stop. So we're gonna see now. I'm gonna take off nicely. You know, I'm not gonna take off as hard because I'm, I'm still driving so I can learn how I drive. So let's see. As I'm about to go. Okay, I'm turning now. Uh, the takeoff is smooth, very smooth. Ah, first gear to second gear, very smooth. Ah, I mean, going forward is even more smoother. Ah, that was flipping smooth. Let's feel the downshifts now. Eh? What? Ah, such smooth downshifts. Believe this, I really can't believe this because I had to change my engine mounts just so that I can get rid of that feeling. Now, nah, let me let me feel it again a bit more, man. I think I need to go to the highway or something because wow, it really does the right things for real. It has never downshift, have never felt that way in a long time. Even when well, when I bought it, it was smooth, but I bought it second hand. But wow, man, what? Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're going for the second one now. Just that, the road that I took, man, it's not that dope because let me show you. 